what attracts millennials, if you want to call them Gen Z or even younger, is based on kind of what they're used to and what they enjoy. Understand what's going to attract people in the right way. I think anything that's an activation that surprises you, that delivers something that you're not expecting, that has a sort of human element to it that you can't do online, I think it's a winner. These younger generations, millennials, Gen Z, right? That are becoming the buyers here. They want experience, which I think is good for our industry, but we have to provide that experience because now everything is so accessible via the phone, via Zoom. They don't need to go to the annual conference, annual event to gain, you know, older generations had to go to, to gain. So yeah. the intentional design and the experience that they're given is what will create the demand for them wanting to go in the future. Absolutely. I think it's a funny one because I'm not entirely sold that on the generational differences, but at the same time, I feel like what attracts millennials, if you want to call them Gen Z or kind of even, even younger, is based on kind of what they're used to and what they enjoy. And a lot of that, I think, is just natural, right? Every industry is going to have much younger generations, I think also because of COVID and now this period, now there's a lot of people retiring as well and these gaps being built. And so it's important for us to think about that. And going back to that intentional design, I think if you try to apply that to a trade show, when you have all sorts of different products kind of on display, I think for a lot of kind of younger people, like you said, they're used to being online. They're used to getting information really quickly and easily. They're also used to incredibly streamlined design. And I think going back to sort of presentations or booths with a lot of information about a product, it's probably going to be very overwhelming. And, and I think there's a lot of debates in different industry sectors and different kind of designs on, on, on exhibits, what the ideal kind of way to, to design an exhibit is. And I'm sure you have some thoughts on that as well. But I, I think it's important to understand what's going to attract people in the right way. You know, I know some event tech companies like to create exhibit booths that just have everything they do listed on it. I don't know if that's the right way to do it. I don't think that appeals to me necessarily. I understand that if I'm looking for a specific feature and I see that written on a booth, it would be like, oh, I'll go and ask them about that. I get that. But I don't know if a booth with lots of different features spelt out is going to be very attractive. You know, it's going to be like a yeah. puzzle wall of things, right? I think I'd much rather get a some sort of sleek design where you get a feeling for what the company stands for and how their software works, just to keep the event technology kind of example going. And maybe a drink or maybe something that attracts me to that stand where I go like, oh, can I get a juice or whatever it is? And it's like, oh, yeah, of course, here you go. And, and it's a way to kind of start that conversation. I mean, this is a really simple example, but I, I do like the idea of, you know, appealing to basic human nature of that comfort thing, or whether it's a coffee, or if it's a drink, or if it's a tchotchke, or something that sort of brings people in. What it does make me think with this younger generation, to your point, is the younger generation is going to be less likely to be like, oh, yeah, this is how it's done, right? They're like, why? Because information is is so easy for them to obtain compared to older generations. I also think if you're in trade shows, if you're in events, if you're in meetings, you cannot ignore the fact that festivals and things like South by Southwest and taking a page out of the book of like what Dreamforce has done, that is where innovation is happening, in my opinion, on the face-to-face -face getting together. So your standard B2B conference, trade show, event, whatever you want to call it, I think this younger generation is going to be looking for those to evolve, not like it needs to be Burning Man, right? Or anything like that, but you know, where it, it is evolving. Where is the experience? Like, yes, I do want to go somewhere. I do want to learn. I want to be educated. I want to be around peers. But how are you going to make my time of getting on a plane, going to Nashville, whatever it may be, how are you going to make it more of an experience for me? And like I said, creating that demand for them. I think it does have to be stepped up. I think it has to be different. You know, you got to make me want to leave my nest because you can be on Zoom. You can have conversations. I think it's putting more of an emphasis on experience that you have to deliver experience yeah, the tagline is if you can do it on zoom it doesn't belong in the room like yeah fairly. no i think that makes sense yeah it, it, i know i yeah it's all experiences right i think anything that's an activation that surprises you that delivers something that you're not expecting that 
has a sort of human element to it that you can't do online, I think it's a winner. I mean, I was working with a company that did an activation for a computer game show, and they had a, a kind of a tower on their booth, and you could jump off the tower into like this big mat, you know, with safety and all that kind of stuff. But it was, yeah, yeah. It was something that happened in the gameplay of that video game. So it was like cool. millions of people, yeah. or not millions, but thousands of people lining up to kind of do this one jump just because it's fun. And not every, not every brand, not every exhibit makes sense to do something like that. Yeah. But I think that kind of stuff is memorable. And as long as it aligns with what you're trying to achieve from the trade show, then great. You know, then I think it's definitely a winner.